live at five with no jive with Dr. Francis Richards. I just want to thank all of you all for joining in for these healthy tips. And um, I have gotten some feedback that the audio is a little low or not good. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if the audio is good, a thumbs down if the audio is not good. So I want to talk to you today about using food to manage emotions. Are you emotionally eating, right? So emotionally, um, emotional eating refers to the practice of using food to manage your emotion, manage your stress, um, rather than um, you're responding to physical hunger. Have you experienced emotional eating using food to manage your emotions? Now, here are some strategies that you can use or that you can identify or to understand if you are emotionally eating. First of all, you want to understand the root cause. Before we go any further, we always want to say to you, if you find that you're dealing with um, anything with emotional eating, you always want to consult with your healthcare physician before you engage in any kind of exercise or any type of eating program, you always want to connect with your healthcare provider. So first of all, you want to understand the root cause of um, exploring the underlying emotional and psychological factors that's driving you to eat emotionally. Um, one of the things you can do is also practice mindful eating. What is mindful eating? It's actually you being conscious of what you're eating, when you're eating, why you're eating it. And so you want to make sure that when you're eating, you're not distracted. You want to get off the TV, don't watch TV. Definitely don't get on the internet when you're eating because you will consume um, a lot of food if you are trying to manage your weight. Um, you also want to look at emotional triggers. Identify and manage specific emotional triggers such as stress, boredom, anxiety. What is triggering you to eat emotionally? Body image. The relationship between your body image, your self-esteem, and emotional eating and how it cultivates a positive body image. You know, I was thinking about something today. I had a conversation with a friend and we were talking about how the evolution of our bodies. Back in the day, and I'm going to date myself, when I was growing up and we're talking about body image, um, breasts was not in meaning I was heavily endowed with my breasts when I was a very young girl. And so it wasn't fashionable for you to have heavily endowed breasts back in the day. Today, it is fashionable. Back in the day, if you had a big behind or big thighs, it wasn't fashionable. So we're talking about the evolution and how um, culture and how society has changed and how we view our bodies. So your body image can definitely impact um, emotionally eating. We are seeing a lot on social media. Um, social media is impacting what we're doing to our bodies, how we're feeling about our bodies. Let me know how you um, view social media. Is social media impacting you, causing you to um, eat or not eat based on what you're seeing or not seeing on social media? Binge eating is understanding the difference between emotional eating and binge eating. If you have a binge eating disorder and how you definitely want to seek help if you feel that you have a binge eating disorder. Um, we, you want to focus on um, coping mechanism, healthy coping mechanism, finding alternatives that can help you manage your emotions, such as exercising, journaling, or spending time with loved ones, finding activities that's not centered around food, 
but find other alternatives. Maybe you want to take up a hobby. Maybe you want to take up painting or dancing or something that doesn't involve eating. You also want to look at the role of a therapist, the benefit of a therapist such as like cognitive behavior therapy, CBT, in addressing emotional eating and to help you develop healthy habits. And it's important to seek help from a mental health professional if emotional eating is impacting your daily life or causing you any kind of stress. You always want to um, connect with your um, health care provider. We're really excited when we're talking about emotional eating because I just finished my course and it's called Helping what I do is in the course, it helps women over 40 unpack what's eating them so they can stop eating it. And the link is below, but you can always go to um, course.drfrancisrichards.com if you're interested in doing a further work on unpacking what's eating you so you can stop eating it. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about the root cause of emotional eating, so you want to join us. If there's a topic that you'd like us to talk about, feel free. You could DM me on Facebook, or you could send a, um, a message to fr at francisrichards.com. We want to thank you for joining us, and let me know if you have found strategies that you have managed emotional eating. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Take care.